everybody that's the home dad bringing on the video it's memorial day weekend um, we're going to do some ribs these are uh, center cut beef ribs i got two little racks here uh 15 bucks for both and uh, i got them padded dry washed off and padded dry and we're going to add in a little binder of some texas peat original hot sauce Give it a good rub down. We're gonna do it on both sides. My son says he wants a cookie. Hopefully some of this vinegar and this hot sauce can help break this down and make them nice and tender. And then we're gonna go on with some we're gonna go we're gonna go on with some operation uh Barbecue relief, sweet and smoky rub. Son, we'll get you soda in just a little bit, okay? Give us a nice liberal coat on all of this here. We got the pit going outside the Oklahoma Joe Bronco. It's pretty much up to temperature now. We're going to be smoking this with some post oak. And we're going to have some grilled veggies go along with it. And some coleslaw, homemade coleslaw. Get a nice spark on it. All right, everybody, we'll bring you back when we get these on the smoker. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, we're back. We're at the pit. We're running, uh, as you see, right at 250, a little under 250. Running with post oak. There we go. We'll run them this way. One set. There's the other set. All right, everybody, we're smoking. Stay tuned and uh, bring it back at about the two-hour mark, and we'll see what they're looking like. I'm not going to put a probe in this. Sorry about the lawnmower. I'm not going to put a probe in this. Um, I'm just shooting for tenderness. So uh, we'll see at two hours and see what we're looking like. See if we need to wrap. I'll bring you back when we're at that point. All right, everybody. It's been a couple hours. So let's open this. I haven't seen them, so let's we'll see it together. Oh, yeah, they look good. This one's all bent up. Let me, uh, they look good, though, don't they? this thermometer out and we'll uh, check a temp real quick just to see where we're at and check the tenderness oh yeah they're, they're getting there they're pretty tender now but we're, we're gonna check uh, you know what? I might just spritz these with some water and just let them go. I think that'll be just fine. No, we're going to wrap them. Yeah, we're going to wrap these with some a uh, little bit of butter and uh, I'll bring you back. So just your general wrap with uh, uh, tin foil. Wrap them tight with two or three pads of butter and uh, we'll put them back on the grill. So I'll bring you back uh, after I have them wrapped. Stay tuned. All right, everybody. I went ahead and I got them wrapped. I put two pads of butter on each uh, rack of ribs and they're wrapped tight. And I cranked the heat up just a little bit. So it's probably gonna be running 
300 ish and we're going to do this for 30 minutes and then i'll bring you back when they're done stay tuned all right everybody we have them out of their tin foil package and as you can see we have great pullback um i knew these weren't going to be extremely meaty but they do have a good chunk of meat in between the bones and um you know for the price you can't really beat it and for a wife who can't eat pork and these are great what? cut really easy and look at it this way you don't have to work, work on finding uh, where to cut the bone at. let's take a look look at there that's a beautiful smoke ring it's nice and moist Let's give it a try. Yeah. Oh my. What? That is extremely tender. Yeah. That's just like eating a, a pork rib. Oh Minus it's beef and it tastes good. But that rub goes well with beef as well as pork. I'm putting them in the tinfoil for a half hour on 300. Uh, with the butter outstanding outstanding but that's all I have for you for this one check it out again that's all we have for you for this this one I hope you all give this a try some center cut beef ribs they're delicious they're easy to do post oak is the way to go like I always say God bless please hit that uh bell for notifications and if you haven't yet please subscribe see you later